I think maybe OpenAI screwed up. And it's not going to be too detrimental to their business, but the problem is this. I don't think it's severe as what is being disclosed in this article. I don't think they pulled a Theranos. I mean, Elizabeth Holmes had nothing, absolutely nothing. At least OpenAI still can rely on the fact that their models are performing at the top or near the top against Anthropic, X, Gemini, and whatnot. But what's at issue here is the lack of disclosure. Like, Sam Altman has a lot of hype. He's, he's out there saying AGI is right out of the corner. And I think it he's maybe one of the few thinking it's right around the corner. Yeah, it's going to be achievable perhaps in the next decade or so. But if you want to drown out the noise, you rely on benchmarks like Arc AGI and Frontier Math and others. And they kind of were giving the answers to the test in a way. This was disclosed and released recently from Epoch AI, creators of the benchmark Frontier Math. We made a mistake in not being more transparent about OpenAI's involvement. We were restricted from disclosing the partnership until around the time O3 launched, and in hindsight, we should have negotiated harder for the ability to be transparent to the benchmark contributors as soon as possible. Our contract specifically prevented us, it's gonna be a non-disclosure, from disclosing information about the funding source and the fact that OpenAI has data access to much but not all of the data set. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they only have access to 1%. And we'll get into exactly why in this benchmark. They shouldn't be allowed to have access to any of it. It's one thing to fund. Like a lot of research papers hopefully have objective and no bias one way or the other, but you always have to disclose your funding sources. That's fine. But having the ability to have access to a data set is really problematic unless everybody does but then if everybody does the spirit of what the frontier math benchmark is is kind of lost in the sauce so we go back here and I, I love so frontier math epoch ai they've created this and this is kind of the the overall website it is a benchmark of hundreds of original mathematics problems spanning the breadth of modern mathematical research. These range from computationally intensive problems in number theory and real analysis to abstract questions in algebraic geometry and category theory. We developed it through collaboration with over 60 mathematicians from leading institutions, including professors, IMO question writers, and fields medalists. So they go beyond just simpler math problems, even to go beyond the, the more complex math problems. These require hours upon hours from the leading mathematicians. And I like here what's written on Hacker News. For some context on why this is important, this benchmark was designed to be extremely challenging for LLMs, like O3, with problems requiring several hours or days of work by expert mathematicians. And big number here. Currently, LLMs solve 2% of problems in the set which is kept private to prevent contamination. The only way we objectively measure how these LLMs are performing is if they're blind to the data set. They have no idea. They can't be trained on it. They have to be able to see it. That way we can see their reasoning capabilities. And that's what O3 was touting. 2%. Remember that number 2%. They even provide a quote from Terence Tao, which helped create the benchmark alongside other field medalists and IML question writers. These are extremely challenging. I think that in the near term, near term in the next few years, basically the only way to solve them short of having real domain expert in the area is by a combination of a semi-expert, like a graduate student in a related field, maybe paired with some combination of a modern AI and lots of other algebra packages. Surprisingly, prediction markets are putting only a 62% on AI achieving greater than 85% performance before 2028. So not even solving the whole question set just 85 percent and even then only 62 percent people believe it now what did open ai say recently well there's a couple of benchmarks that really just flashed in people's face one of them with relatively limited computing power o3 scored 75.7 percent on arc agi that percentage grew to 87.5 percent when the model was given access to more infrastructure very powerful uh the Previous GPT-3 model scored 0% and 4.0 managed just 5%. Massive leap, right? But you go down here, OpenAI says that O3 also achieved record-breaking performance on the Frontier math test. Remember, to date, before O3, only 2% were solved. 
one of the most difficult AI evaluation benchmarks on the market. It comprises several hundred advanced mathematical problems that were created with input from more than 60 mathematicians. OpenAI says that O3 solved 25.2% of the problems in the test, easily topping the previous high score of 2%. Now that's just, you know, at the time you're like, oh, wow, this is incredible. Here, 2%. Only 62% of people believe that it's going to re have greater than 85%. And that was with the thought that it was only 2% solved at the time. And this was 71 days ago from today's date, January 20th, 2025. So that really accelerated like, oh, wow, AGI is probably a lot sooner. But again, what was disclosed? OpenAI had data access to much but not all of the data set that gives such a leg up in performance and again perhaps you release some of the data set to the other uh, individuals like x and anthropic and others but then that removes the spirit again kept private to prevent contamination we need to know objectively performance. Is AGI around the corner? Is this the best model for me? And the only way we know that is from objective testing with these benchmarks. I don't think this is, a, you know, going to put a nail on a coffin of OpenAI at all. I They still have amazing models. I love using them and testing them against other models. Sometimes they're the right model for the right use case, but it's just a bad look. Like we have a lot of issues right now trusting artificial intelligence. There's a lot of eyes on the responsible use of AI, and one of them relies upon transparency. But then if you can't trust the individuals making it because they're taking shortcuts or they're potentially doing things like this that they aren't disclosing, and I don't blame, in this instance, Epoch AI. If there's a non-disclosure, for whatever reason, they negotiated, they needed funding, OpenAI had the upper hand in the negotiation, then yeah, they, they, they're kind of stuck in the legal process. It's nice that uh, they were able to release this statement because it's very important. It, it, it's just overall a bad look for OpenAI. I, I hope they come out with a statement, they turn a corner, and everything is just out there in the open because we got to know when's AGI coming?